Moody's diagram is a representation or you can say it is a graph plotted between the Reynolds number then the friction factor and the roughness or relative roughness of the pipe surface. So what is there in this <clears throat> that we will understand. So the Moody's diagram. So in 1944 Lewis Ferry Moody plotted the Darcy's wedgeback friction factor against the Reynolds number Re for various values of roughness okay or the for the various values of relative roughness that is de epsilon divided by d so this is nothing but it is a graphical representation of these three factors okay so the first factor is darcy wishback friction factor then again uh, the reynolds number and the third is nothing but the relative roughness of the pipe okay so generally this graphical representation is known as Moody's chart or Moody diagram. So we know what is uh, this. So this is the formula for frictional head loss uh, in a pipe or you can say it is a Darcy wishback friction factor uh, or head loss due to the friction <coughs> explained by the Darcy and wishback. Okay, so the formula is 4 FLV square divided by 2 GD. Okay, in previous video, I have explained this Darcy's and Wishback uh, head losses. Okay, so this is nothing but the loss of it due to friction that is HF and <coughs> it is 4 times the coefficient of friction this small f is nothing but over here you can see so this small f is nothing but the coefficient of friction okay so it is four times coefficient of friction into the length of the pipe into the square of the velocity of flow and divided by the two times acceleration due to gravity into the diameter of the pipe okay if you have if you have the the above mentioned values then we can find out the head loss <coughs> because of the friction okay so over here so this is nothing but small f is nothing but the coefficient of friction and the modified form of this is nothing but this okay so this formula is nothing but the modified form of the darcy wishback friction factor okay or Darcy's uh, you can say head loss due to uh, this equation okay so we can find out the head loss by using this equation okay so frictional loss or energy loss how much the head is lost that we can find out using this formula so this formula is FLV square divided by 2 GD okay again LV and GD are the terms which are same as I have explained in this formula but only difference is that so this small f is nothing but over here you can see the small f is nothing but the friction factor and in this the small f is nothing but coefficient of friction. So what is basic difference in both of this is nothing but so this small f we can find So this small f is equal to 4 times of this coefficient of friction okay. So this 4 times of f that we can replace with this f okay and we get this equation. So this is nothing but uh, our coefficient of friction. Uh, so sorry this is the coefficient of friction and this is the friction factor okay. Now what is the Reynolds number in order to uh, see the Moody's chart or Moody's diagram we must know what is the Reynolds number then we must know Darcy's wedgeback 
friction factor that we must understand first so what is the reynolds number okay so reynolds number is a ratio of inertia force to the viscous force which is known as the reynolds number okay so it is nothing but it is a dimensional less quantity as it is a number uh, you can see so this is the reynolds number okay so numbers do not have any dimension so that's why reynolds number is also a dimensional less quantity and it is the ratio of inertia force and viscous force okay so the same terms remaining on the numerator and uh, denominator so that's why the units of the forces that will be cancelled out and that's why this reynolds number is a dimensional less or unit less quantity okay <clears throat> then this is the formula for this reynolds number so r e is equal to rho into v into l divided by mu okay where rho is our density which is uh, mass upon volume that is kg per meter cube okay then v is velocity then uh, mu is the dimensional visco dynamic viscosity of the fluid okay and capital l you can say so it is the characteristic linear dimension so generally uh, in order to find out this reynolds number we take uh, a pipe okay and here the length of the pipe is considered okay so using this relation or using this formula we can find out the reynolds number okay and what is the convenience or what is the application of this reynolds number so using this reynolds number we can find out the condition or we can find out if the flow is laminar flow if the flow is turbulent or if it is in between okay so the value of reynolds number decides if the flow is laminar flow or transit flow or turbulent flow okay now for laminar flow the value of reynolds number it is always less than 2300 okay then for turbulent flow the value of reynolds number is always greater than 2300 sorry 2900 okay and in between 2300 and 2900 if the value of reynolds number lies in between these two or we cannot specify if the flow is laminar or turbulent so that's why it is known as transit flow okay so if if you face some problem or if some problem is given to you and they have mentioned all these values so for example density uh, then uh, velocity of the fluid then uh, linear dimension is given then dynamic viscosity of the fluid is given and uh, they have mentioned if the flow is laminar or turbulent find out okay so you have to find out first the reynolds number okay then you will have to observe if the reynolds number is less than 2300 or is is it in between 2300 or 2900 or it is somewhere uh, more than <clears throat> the 2900 that you have to observe okay and accordingly you can specify if the flow is laminar or turbulent or in between that is the transit flow then this is the uh, graphical representation of moody's diagram so over here in this uh, y axis on y axis you can see the friction factor small f okay then on the x axis he has plotted the reynolds number okay so it is another form of reynolds number or you can say instead of uh, l he has taken a d small d okay and on the other side you can see the relative pipe roughness okay so that is the epsilon divided by small d so these are the values and the complete representation is nothing but the graphical representation of the moody's diagram <clears throat> basically kya hota hai 
कि कौन सा भी एक अदर चार ट्रेन हो तो उसके अंदर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वैल्यूज अगर से हमने डाल दिए हैं स्टडी कर कर लिया है ठीक है तो बाद में जब हम प्रॉब्लम्स वगैरह सॉल्व करते हैं या फिर जब वो वैल्यूज टेक आउट करने की जब बात आती है या फिर टाइम आता है तब क्या होता है कौन सा ना कौन सा वैल्यू छूट जाता है हमारी तरफ से है ना और टू अवॉइड दो मिस्टेक्स वी कैन यूज दिस मूडीज डायग्राम विद इन ए ग्लांस और इन इन ए शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू कैन फाइंड आउट इजिली फाइंड आउट हाउ मच इज द फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर देन हाउ मच इज द रेनॉल्ड्स नंबर एंड हाउ मच इज द रिलेटिव डेंसिटी सॉरी रिलेटिव पाइप रफनेस दैट वी कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज कंप्लीट डायग्राम इज हियर वेन द फ्लो इज लैमिनर ओके नाउ यू कैन सी now the value reynolds number if it lies in between these two from 0 to this line okay dotted line then we can say so this line represents it is a laminar flow correct then this is the grayish portion is nothing but the transit region okay or transition region in between if the value of reynolds number lies in between this then we can say it is a transit flow okay and above this dotted line you can see it is the complete turbulence line okay above this you can see the turbulence and uh, these are nothing but the lines which are shown for the pipe smoothness okay relative roughness how much is the relative roughness so extreme lower line will show a very smooth pipe okay so using this we can find out or easily within a glance we can find out how much is the uh, reynolds number how much is the friction factor and how much is the relative roughness of the pipe okay so that's why this moody's diagram is beneficial now uses of the moody's diagram so moody's diagram is a graphical representation of the relative pipe roughness then uh, uh, the reynolds number and the friction factor that we have already discussed then moody's diagram is used to predict the pressure drop or the flow rate down such a pipe okay so how how can we predict the pressure drop so in order to uh, get this pressure drop we must first understand the moody's diagram it is the representation of the reynolds number then the friction factor okay so friction factor this term we have taken from the this formula that is hf is equal to 4 flv or flv square divided by 2 gd correct so this is nothing but our darcy's wish back uh, loss of head correct therefore we can means ho kya raha hai dekho abhi so this is the loss of head okay ultimately what is happening jaise jaise ye head loss hoga waise waise humko uh, jo पाइप में से जो पानी बाहर आ रहा है उसका जो प्रेशर ड्रॉप है वो भी हमें फाइंड आउट करना पड़ेगा ओके सो डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द प्रेशर ड्रॉप समझ में आ रहा है जैसे जैसे एनर्जी कम होते जाएगा वैसे वैसे प्रेशर ड्रॉप जो है वो भी चेंज होते जाएगा करेक्ट सो मूडीज डायग्राम इज यूज टू प्रिडिक्ट द प्रेशर ड्रॉप and the flow rate down such a pipe flow rate means the discharge of the fluid if value of relative pipe roughness is known and the value of reynolds number is known we can find the approximate value of the friction factor okay agar se ye uh, relative roughness of the pipe and reynolds number if these two values are known to us then we can find out the value of the friction factor 
so this is uh, the use of the moody's diagram and thank you very much for watching this video